Hey, hey, Mike Gingrich here, and I hope you are doing extremely well today as we dive in and take a look at another Live with Mike. And uh, today I want to take a look at uh, three uh, terms and give you some examples of each of those that I think are vital for businesses today, particularly businesses that um, want to do something online and they need to do something online. So let's take a look at um, accessible and we want to take a look at um, the opportunities and uh, we also just want to make sure that um, we're looking at being adaptable in these types of pieces here. So um, the first thing that I want to talk about is uh, accessible, all right, um, and accurate is the other one. And um, so, so we would take a look at what businesses are doing online today. Uh, we need to make sure that if if COVID nineteen has taught us anything, is that businesses need to be accessible. When when um, you go and look for business and it's closed, you can't get anything from them. Um, that is not accessible, right? And um, you know uh, that hinders opportunities, right? So if if somebody cannot do business front with you, if they cannot. Um, here's a simple uh, example of accessible. So in COVID-19, maybe there you're able to continue doing some online type things, right? Um, but maybe there were some other processes in your business that you realized were not um, accessible and you need to make them accessible. For instance, we've been doing a lot of online forms for businesses. I had another business contact me today, want to talk about um, moving their, their intake forms. So a counseling service, moving their intake forms, um, online because previously they had them on, they still have them on the website. That was step one of accessible, but it was a PDF form that was uh, downloadable. It had, uh, download it, print it, bring it with you. Okay. So if you're, if it's, cl if you're closed then, and you're, you're going to not be able to meet with someone one-on-one -on -one because of COVID-19 pandemic, all that type of thing. Um, what are they supposed to do with that piece of paper, right? I guess they can mail it to you. Um, but again, and now we're, we're talking about in a pandemic, you're trying not to touch as much stuff. So you got the, the paper. But if you create a web intake form on that, so somebody can go on just onto the website, securely fill out that form, and uh, that information is you know electronically um, securely with encryption passed over to the organization, and they can, you know, uh, see what they need to see, access that, you know, ha um, have that information. Then we've taken care of that. It's accessible, and it's accessible, uh, you know, in the midst of a pandemic. So how, how accessible is is your business online? If, it, if the pandemic's taught you anything, hopefully you're looking at accessibility for all your business processes. There, you know, now obviously someone needs to be able to um, to understand what you have to offer, the services you have to offer purchase those services, but then, you know, take care of the implementation of those services. And, and can, is, is all that accessible? You want to take a look at that kind of piece. Um, second example is accuracy. All right. So maybe you said, yeah, Mike, we got that covered. We got the website and, um, you know, they can, they can do what they need there. Um, but is your information accurate? Let me give you another quick example. So I just, um, uh, Father's Day was this past Sunday, right? So in here in Pennsylvania, uh, businesses are, if restaurants, I should say, are beginning to open up, they have limitations on that. They can do outdoor dining, right? Um, and so, and and again, some of them during the pandemic, you know, they they offered, did they offer? They offered takeout, but did they order offer online ordering? Okay, um, and so you would go to their website and their information um, was it up to date? Was it accurate? So. Lo and behold, Father's Day, you know, um, got the business hours from a website on a restaurant with outdoor seating and, um, you know, took those hours, said, okay, those hours are accurate. I'm going to go. So Sunday we went and they were closed. That's irritating. Okay. I uh, went down to the street, walked a few more blocks to the backup that I had uh, in mind and that restaurant was closed. Uh, irritating and inaccurate because both of them on their website said that they had hours for Sunday and they didn't. Okay. So uh, is your stuff accessible so that people can buy from you and get all the processes they need online, but is it accessible uh, and accurate? I mean, you know, keeping things up to date, if you're not going to be open, you know, outline that. 
And it has to be in multiple places there. I mean, if you have a website and you have a Facebook page, you can't just get by saying on the Facebook page, hey, we're closed and not update your website because people will Google you. And if they Google you, it's going to pull up the um, Google information on your location, which includes a link to your website, not to your Facebook page. People are going to click that like I did. And there it is. What's that information say? So you want to make sure your information is accurate. All right. Um, and then the third thing that I'm going to take a look at that, that hopefully businesses have learned and need to learn coming out of this pandemic um, with COVID-19 is opportunity. You know, you need to be able to um, adapt, adjust, pivot perhaps, and uh, make a change for your business based on what the environment is, what the environment is is going to be. Okay, so opportunity. Uh, example from that we have on the Digital Hill website today a new blog post about uh, Triangle Rubber and their pivot. Um, number one, to for the first time offer e-commerce that they went ahead and did during COVID nineteen to sell a product, and number two, the product itself um, was was uh, masks and uh, the shields. Then uh, again, not in demand prior to. COVID-19, but immediately during the pandemic, those became, and, and so, you know, they offer rubber product manufacturing. Um, they did not offer masks um, or shields. And so they made, they saw that as an opportunity. They made a pivot to begin offering those uh, quickly during the pandemic to continue to, um, you know, keep their machines running, have an opportunity, provide for hospitals and others in need. And uh, so we talk about that on the, take a look at their e-commerce portion of their website today on the blog, digitalhill.com slash blog, or come over to the website and click on resources and you'll get there, but it talks about their, their pivot. And so um, that's an important thing for businesses to uh, learn to do. Hopefully many businesses are now doing that better than what they were um, since this pandemic now. And, and the key is to realize that, um, you know, this is not done. There's long-term um, changes, shifts. Uh, business has uh, made, um, you know, there's there's permanent things that need to take place and those need to deal with, you know, the accessibility of your uh, product services and project management implementation, um, accuracy, uh, keeping that information on your website up to date. Uh, you can't just tweet about it. You can't just put it on Facebook, but you, you also need to update the website. And third, are there opportunities or the need to pivot? And can you can you do that better, faster, nimbler than you could before? That's that's going to be an important aspect of businesses going forward. So I want to outline uh, those things to you today, and you can you can read about that um, uh, shift that uh, Triangle Rubber made, and how they pivoted to for the first time offer e-commerce. And uh, you know, again, many restaurants for the first time need to get into offering. Um, online ordering, okay? And um, now they need to perhaps be able to get into uh, online you know, reservations for their limited out, outdoor seating, indoor seating, whatever that is. So, you know, what do you need to do to adapt to be relevant in this context to, to keep, you know, business going and keep it flowing and to be helpful to who you want to serve, to that, to that end customer? So take a look at those pieces. That's what I got for you uh, today in this live with Mike. Evaluate your business, you know, going forward uh, on those three characteristics and, and items. You know, is it um, are you accessible? Is are you able to keep things accurate? Okay, you need to find ways to keep it accurate. It has systems in place for that. Have the tools accessible to you. Um, and are you looking at opportunities and being able to pivot quickly, nimbly? to do that, to adjust to those and offer those things, whether it's e-commerce, you know, a, a new product line, um, you know, a shift in how you do things to, 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 to seize what you can and that opportunity to move forward. Okay. So that's it for today with live with Mike, as always, uh, if you have questions or comments, uh, please leave them in the comment section below and um, we'll see you next week. This is Mike over and out. Take care.